but uh, I do have a <coughs> question in mind. Generally, when we uh, talk of average velocity, average speed or average velocity, what the things come to us is, if we need to find the average of 40 uh, meter per second and 60 meter per second, the quantity that uh, definitely comes into our mind is simply 50 meter per second. So, if it is say uh, we have got 100 and 200, the quantity that comes into our mind is 150. But in uh, kinematics uh, or in our real life, things are always not the same. So, let us uh, talk of a few such cases here by uh, taking some examples. So, uh, let us design a problem. A vehicle, a vehicle goes from, goes from one point to another, one point to another, another with a velocity of, with a velocity, velocity v1 and returns back, returns back, back with v2, with v2. So, find the find the average speed, find the average speed. So, here uh, we are required to find the average speed because if we find the average velocity, uh, it will be 0 because of the because of the 0 displacement. So, that is why we are trying to find the average velocity here. So, for that uh, let us draw a diagram. It goes from A to B, A to B with a velocity v1 and returns back from a b to a with velocity v2. So, this is b, this is a. And let us say the uh, distance there, the distance there is, is equal to simply, simply x, simply x. Now, uh, since the velocities are different, let us say, let us say the time taken from a to b and uh, <coughs> the time taken uh, is uh, let, let us uh, do it this way. The time taken from A to B is T1. So, the time here is T1 and this time is T2. Now, the value of T1 will be given by T1 will be given by x by V1. We have assumed here that the velocities are uniform, constant and also I will have a T2 is equal to x by V2. So, this gives us the total time is equal to T1 plus T2 equal to equal to x by v1 plus x by v2 equal to x common. So, it will be 1 by v1 plus 1 by v2 which will further give us give us x common. It is v1 plus v2 by v1 v2. So, this is the total time taken. Now, what is the total distance traveled by the body? So, from here to here it is x and from here to here it is another x. So, the total distance is total distance traveled, traveled is traveled equal to yes, that is equal to x plus x equal to 2x. Now, the average speed is, the average speed is equal to v average equal to total distance, total distance divided, divided total time, total time. So, it will be equal to 2x divided x, it is a v1 plus v2 by v1 v2, this x and x gone. So, it will be equal to our v average is equal to 2 v1 v2 by v1 plus v2 and this is definitely not equal to not equal to the average of v1 and v2. Now, let us consider an example. It goes from here to here at 40 meter per second and returns back at the rate of 60 meter per second. Now, this v average will be equal to 2 into 40 into 60 by 40 plus 60. So, v1, v2 by v1 plus v2 and this definitely will be equal to, so it is, a, uh, uh, so let us say it is a 2 into 40 into 60 
by this is 100, this 0, 0, this goes, and this is equal to 4 to the 8, it is a 48 meter per second. So the average here is 48 meter per second. Now, why is this so? It is so because during the uh, study of equations of kinematics, we have assumed that the velocity of the body was uh, 40 initially and then it increases in a, at a uniform rate, at a uniform rate till 60, increases at a uniform rate till 60. But here what happens is from here to here it is at 40. What it does here we do not know, from here to here it is at 60. So there are two distinct steps of uniform velocities, not increase or not decrease. Let leave alone the, uh, the uh, phenomenon of uh, uniform increase or decrease. It is just two values here, two step values and that is why the average is somewhat like this. Now if we change this problem slightly, slightly <coughs> like this, like this uh, goes half of a distance half of a distance, distance at the rate, at the rate, at the rate to V1 and remaining half, remaining half, <coughs> remaining half, remaining half at, at V2, what is the, what is the average what is the average speed. So here also it is the same case, it is the same case because, it is the same case, same case, same case because from here to here it will be x, the velocity will be v1, time will be t1 and from here to here the distance is again the same, it is x, it is x and time will be t2, velocity will be v2. So everything is same that is why the formula will be somewhat like this. And again if we have the design is slightly altered like this goes one third of a distance, one third of a distance, distance at V1, V1 and the remaining at and the remaining at remaining at v2, v2 find the, find the average, average speed or velocity. So in this case what we have is one third at v1 and a two third at v2. So let us rub these things, let us rub these things. So one third at v1 and two third from here to here here at v2, so this is 2x, this is 2x. So in this case, in the first case we have got t1 equal to x by v1 and t2 equal to 2x by v2. So the total time will be t will be equal to it is x by v1 plus 2x by v2, x will be common. 1 by v1 plus 2 by v2, so equal to, it is x here, so the inside the bracket will be v1 plus v2, it is ok, so it is v2 plus 2 v1. So this gives us now the distance is s equal to x plus x equal to x plus 3x, x plus sorry 2x, that is equal to 3x and the velocity will be and v will be equal to s by s by t equal to 3x by x then v2 plus 2 v1 by v1 v2 which will further give me if I cancel this thing it is 3 v1 v2 by v2 plus v, v2 plus 2 v1 plus 2 v1. So in the same way we can design other problems as well. For example, we can have three portions. So the first one third at v1, uh, second one third at v2, third one third at v3 and get a formula out of that. We can have a, uh, two fifth or three fifth. So we can have uh, several such ratios and uh, uh, get the desired velocity according to our requirements.